Okay, folks, welcome back to So Bad It's Good, presented by Betches Media. We have somebody that I have been fascinated with because the show he is on has captured all of our imaginations over this last month because it asked the question, is love blind? This is a social experiment taken to the next level of potentially falling in love with your mate without ever seeing them. Now, I just watched the finale and the reunion, and I was completely wrong with my guesses on what would happen, and I need to talk to this man about his experience you know him you love him izzy zapata from love is blind season five what's up dude what's up man how are you uh i'm 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 mad izzy i'm mad i watched the finale and i gotta ask how are you doing it did not work out with stacy and i was really i did not predict that i thought milton it wasn't gonna go his way how are you doing are you good I'm good now. I'm good now. I would say then I was devastated for sure. Uh, I was not, you know, expecting the no. I mean, it kind of was, but kind of wasn't. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's always heartbreaking to get told no, you know, especially at the altar. So, but I'm good now. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you seemed good at the reunion as well. And it's, uh-huh. you say you and Stacy are friendly or, I mean, I imagine that's weird when we throw all our perspectives, the audience's perspectives into this, uh-huh. you know, how that changes and affects a relationship. The biggest question every girl wants to know that has talked to me, are you still dating that person you're talking about in the reunion? Uh, yes, I am. I, yeah, we're still dating. We're happily dating. Um, yeah, man, and life's great. She's an amazing girl. <laughs> now, did you ask her to be in the pods before you actually saw her as well, or did you see her first? <laughs> uh, uh, first date, set up a pod, for, uh, sort of date. <laughs> just kidding. No, we actually met very organically through mutual friends. It was very unexpected. Um, which I loved. And yeah, it's just been history since then. Like our first date, which was crazy, was actually, we ran into Stacy and her date <laughs> at a cooking I, class. Dude, is that story real? Cause you say it on the reunion. And I was like, I would have given up dating for the rest of my life at that point. It just oh was God. like, wow. Yeah, it was very real. It was, uh, so what happened was I, you know, I meet this girl with a group of friends. I was like, all right, I want to take you out. And she's like, I really want to do this cooking class. I was like, sweet. I booked it right then and there. So we go and we have, we have like her and I are both a couple of classes of wine deep before the class. And it's like a BYOB kind of thing. And so we walk in and immediately I just hear Stacy's laugh. And I was like, no fucking way. So I go and I look around the corner and I was like, oh my God, it's Stacy. She's there with her date. So I'm like, man, like, now I have to go tell this girl, like my ex, not just any ex, but my ex fiance from Love is Blind is here. So I go and I tell her and she was a champ. She's like, let's do it. I don't care. She's like, it doesn't bother me. So we go in. So the chef is actually comes out and is like, all right, guys, there's going to be a name tag. Y'all's name tags are going to be on the table. Go look for your name. Um, and y'all are going to be uh, paired off at, with a different couple. So sure enough, we walk in and what do you know, all four of our names are at the same table. <laughs> and so we end up, we're all cooking paella together. Um, it's a bit Was there awkward. a cook off? Were you guys like trying to challenge each other with who could pick, cook the <laughs> best like, paella? Yes, yeah, chef. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're all actually in a group and we had to like, we all took turns cooking with the one dish for our, uh, for our table. So it was pretty awkward, but funny at the same time. It's crazy to like think about it and laugh at it now, but what a first date, right? I mean, you are so much more emotionally mature than I am. I mean, I, I, that story shocked me on the reunion. Um, Mm -hmm. Izzy, after going through this experiment, why do you think us, the audience, we are so intrigued and fascinated by this? And it just kind of captures our imagination. Why do you think that is? Um, because love is blind. And honestly, in my opinion, it's an amazing show and an amazing way to date. Um, we're in a very superficial world nowadays. And I'm sure, you know, I, that's how it was for me. Like, you know, I would date a lot, but, it, you know, it's all about looks or your financial status or things like that. So when you take all that away um, and you have just that only based on an emotional connection, it's such a beautiful thing. It's a very pure thing. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people love this show. Um, and just to kind of see, like, you face real life scenarios, you know, you're living with the person, you're meeting the parents and, you know, just 
situations that you would face as a married couple, you kind of have condensed in one month while planning a wedding at the same time. Uh, but I think the concept of it is like, you know, is love truly blind to date emotionally? Like, I think it's great. And I would 120% do this show again. So you don't wake up in cold sweats, like having nightmares every night about being back in the pods. <laughs> I will say I did for a while when I, when I got back home. Um, but now, no, it was honestly a great experience. I loved it. I had a blast doing it. I mean, you know, thank you for sharing. And, it, you know, it, it you do have these moments even within the pods or being able to talk about your experience. I mean, you talked about Johnny, about your experience with your, your dad uh, growing up. And there are these moments that I think we really relate to you. And that's why we cheer on these people. But then there are certain things that the audience sees. Like, listen, man, you have been taken to task for how you pack a bag, for how oh, you yeah. pack luggage. I mean, <laughs> and I pack the same way. I pack the same yeah. way. I didn't really... <laughs> <laughs> oh god dude i've gotten that the paper plates um obviously the way <laughs> i handled the johnny scenario at the barbecue like and, and that was disgusting but um you know we make mistakes we learn from them i apologize you know with that but i mean at the end of the day we are human and you get to see like our vulnerable sides like we are is it very real for what you see yeah, I know. I mean, I will say, and that's why your my heart immediately went out after you made this beautiful speech in the finale and she's speaking. And then I'm like, wait a sec. Wait, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? And I was so confused. And I, it seems like you were, you know, at the reunion that you guys left that day and then you guys didn't talk for a couple of days. And that mm -hmm. part blew my mind of what you must have been going through in those moments after being like, at the hip, you know, stuck with each other. I mean, it, yeah. that must have just been such a weird time for you. Uh, I mean, how did you even get through that part of the time? Because you throw cameras into this as well. Yeah, it was difficult, man. Like, to those days in between, we would check in, like, just a quick text or two every day for, like, a mental health check. We knew we needed some time to just let the dust settle. It was just so much. We were emotionally drained. Um, and I wanted to respect her time, um, but I think maybe like, once you hit one day or two, like, and if you're really in love with that person, like, you're like, man, I want to be around you. This is the time I need to be around you, you know, and, um, and we didn't have that. So I was kind of like, you know, losing it a little bit, I will say, like, it was tough, very tough. Did you watch back these episodes? Have you watched the full season? I have. Yeah. It's very, um, so I mean, watching the ending episodes is very emotional for sure. Were you able to take joy in watching Milton and Lydia's story? Yes. I like didn't know because like obviously we're all filming at the same time. So you're so worried about, you know, you and your partner. You don't even think of like the outside. And I'm just so happy for them and proud of them, especially Milton being the youngest dude of the cast and how he had handled himself in so many scenarios where a lot of people would have lost it. It was very uh, awkward. He was so well composed and so I'm just like super proud of him. Um, and I'm super happy for them. I mean, this guy comes in at the reunion. He impresses Nick Lachey. Like Milton yeah. is speaking at like a maturity level of some, like my grandpa or somebody. Yeah, and I was exactly. like, what is this guy doing? And I just thought that was amazing. And then to compare it to, and you guys seem to all have stories about Uche, who, mm -hmm. you know, really, I know he had his own story, but it was mm -hmm. interesting even hearing at the reunion, how he was like texting Milton. He was texting this. I just think it's so interesting to have how the show really presents everybody and the kind of their true selves will kind of leak out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty, um, yeah, it was pretty crazy as far as with like the Uche stuff. I had no idea any of that stuff was going on and I didn't even get involved with it very much. So yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, like once the reunion came, everyone just does everything out there. So, um, one story that gets brought up at the reunion, which I was also cracking up about, was wow. Johnny. Is that these Houston bars that you keep talking about? You guys all met up, and there was a potential to see where it went. You might have made out in your truck, and <laughs> then decided, you know what, we're 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 okay, but we're not romantic partners. What was going through your mind at that time, Izzy? Oh, my God. So how originally that started was we were all out the cast. And so I see Johnny out and I just wanted to apologize for the behavior at the barbecue. Like I hadn't had the chance to talk to her or anything like that. 
So I saw her, we pulled her aside, I pulled her aside. We had like an hour conversation by ourselves outside. Um, so I apologize about that. She apologized and kind of cleared up, you know, the Chris and I situation on like what she told him and what told me. So cool, we squashed it and we kind of moved on. And then we're just kind of like sitting there, the drinks are flowing and, you know, they are vibing and the chemistry's there. So, you know, we're just like, you know, why not? Kind of just see where it goes, kind of go with the flow. Um, yeah, next thing you know, we're making out in my Jeep. Um, Izzy, wait, who makes the first move though? Do you go in first or does she go in first for the kiss? Oh, I did. For sure. <laughs> I did. I went in for the kill. Uh, but then, yeah, so, like, after that, we hung out a couple of times and stuff, but I think, like, we both just understood. We were we were good. Um, I was not over Stacy. Like, it was just too soon to for me today. The same with her. Like, she couldn't get over the fact of, like, you know, me telling her no in the pods. And then her and Chris had just, you know, split. So she was still sad from that. So we were just like – you know what? We're good friends. We both need the time to heal before we even give anybody, you know, the chance. Yeah. So, um, yeah. After this experience, I think a lot of people are wondering what's next for you. Like, what mm -hmm. has this brought you? Are there opportunities presented to you that, like, I didn't think I could do this, but maybe it might be fun? Will we yeah. be seeing you on our television again? Um, I don't know. I would love to. Um, but as far as like if an opportunity comes, I would love to take it. I mean, um, I think more so right now, you know, mental health. I obviously have, you know, a new girlfriend and I just want to be present now, especially with all this madness. Like I really just want to relax and be present and just honestly travel a lot more. That's planning what I plan on doing here um, probably with the next year or two. Like I just got my, you know, my passport. So I got to, you know, use up all the pages on that thing. <laughs> well, I mean, we, I mean, we had asked, did you, did you get your first credit card? Do we, do we have the credit card? Now? Is everything? Yeah. I've been working on the credit. We got the credit card going. <laughs> like, everything's just looking up from here. Uh, the sky is the limit for Izzy. Uh, take us back as we start winding down here. Take us back to the beginning of what possessed you or what was going through your mind when the application process started to even give yourself over to such a wild experiment. What was truly going through your mind and how soon did you go, you know what, I really might be able to find the love of my life here? Yeah, um, it was crazy to the whole process. It's a long process. I was like, there's no way I'm going to get chosen for this. Like. And then I do, and going into it, I was like, all right, there's no way this is really gonna work. Like it's TV, you know? And <laughs> then I get there and Chris, the creator of the show, comes in and gives us a talk every morning, like before we get our dating day started. And I just like followed his advice. Like when he talked to us the first day, I was like, you know what, I'm here. I have all my full undivided attention, I'm going to go ahead and submit myself to this experiment and see if it works. And that's what I did. And I went in, you know, balls to the wall with it and ended up with a fiance and it, it, it does work. Like, Love is blind. <laughs> I mean, that's what I, I, I want the unedited pod footage. Like I want to yeah. know every awkward pause. I want to know everything. Cause we get to see it in these quick glimpses. And uh -huh. I know it's so much more intense for you guys, but I'm like, Netflix, <laughs> please release the unedited pod footage. Cause I want to <laughs> see every, like it, just all those like awkward pauses going in there before, you know, you settle, not settle before you decided Stacy was the one. And we saw obviously your interactions with Johnny, but what was it like going in there with some of the women that you just felt zero connection with? You know, how did you get through those time periods in the pod? Uh, obviously you have to, so how I went in and what my mindset was is even if I felt like, it, you know, someone maybe it was not your type, like just be open-minded, like just be open-minded, ride it out. You never know. Like people could surprise you because that's what happened with Stacy. like day one, Stacy was like my number eight. I was like, oh, cool girl. Um, don't care if I don't really talk to her again or not. And just like, as you, you're getting to know these people, um, it's like, boom, a, you, a connection just kind of come out of nowhere. It's hard at the beginning, you know, cause like, you don't know how that other person is. Some people have their walls up and, you know, but then you, you discover sides of them and it's like, holy shit, like I really am into you. So, um, so yeah, just, you got to write it out. Did you watch any of this series with uh, your, your your new lady in your life? Did you ever watch this with her? Um, not with her. We did see like on the release day. We, my friends had like a watch party at their house, um, but we only saw like one episode. Um, 
she Were you so nervous? Was I? Uh, yeah. You're like, you're like, don't watch this, babe. Don't watch this. You might not want to watch this. She's actually super laid back. What I would tell her, I'd be like, look, there's certain scenes that you might not want to see. Um, and the scenes that I really didn't really want her to see, she saw on her own, like with her friends. She's like, I just wanted to see it. So it was Mexico because obviously I'm butt ass naked in the shower with my fiance and, you know, we're lovey dovey and everything. <laughs> um, but she handled it like a champ. And so now she's just like super supportive and yeah, she'll watch it. I know she's ready for all this to be over and to finally have me for herself and be able to, you know, be in public and stuff like that. Um, but she's she's been awesome so that's a good thing I mean, about it i've been very truthful toward toward her and she's she's seen it. and in, in a way i do want her to watch it because i'm like look this is how i always am you know with my girlfriends like i do the same thing with her it's not every monday but i buy her flowers just about almost every week like i do the small things and i was like i would want you to see it just so you can see who i am because i'm very vulnerable and open in my honest self and I love that, like, this didn't make you give up on love at all. Like, that you were able, like, because, you know, a lot of people might be like, you know what, I'm going to take a couple years off. I got to, and I love that that yeah. didn't, this didn't break you in any way. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's one thing that I'm proud of myself for, um, especially going into a new relationship. I think what a lot of people will do is they'll end up holding back. I'll be like, oh, I, you know, I don't want to get hurt. I'm going to wait till that person, like, really goes all in or whatever. And as far as for me, it's like, I'm very direct and it's like, look, I want you, I just want you to know, like, if we commit, I'm going to be 120% like fully committed. I'm not going to be holding anything back. And yeah, so that's how any relationship that I would have from here on out is how I would pursue it. Cause that's how I would want someone to pursue me. Uh, that's very inspiring. Um, and, and I guess the last part is audience reaction is that, you know, it's not, you, you film this a couple of years go by potentially, and then it's released to us, the public, and we get our eyes on it. We start commenting about it. What was the weirdest thing that you heard about yourself on screen that you are like, what you, you think that about me? Cause it's gotta be intense when we start talking about you. Yeah. Um, Ooh, man. Uh, how I look when I'm drunk. <laughs> My eyes. Oh God, that's not that's not pretty. The glossy red, low eyes. Um, no, you have, come on. That JT or JP or the American flag guy, he wins on the. Like I was like, is he drunk? I couldn't tell. Like he would half like half eye and not say anything. Oh God, yeah, it is cringy to watch yourself on TV, and it's it's crazy because like I don't like attention on me. So like having these watch parties and stuff and, you know, I'm the center of attention. So I get very shy watching it, um, but it's crazy. I mean, to say but you're out in public right now. People notice you. Is that weird to yeah. like all of a sudden like, like, oh, my God, that person's looking at me. Why are they looking at me? And they notice you from this show. That's got to be wild. Yeah, it is like it's something I'm still adjusting to. Um, I've been kind of in I wouldn't say like in hiding, but I've been kind of just staying home through these last couple of weeks. Um, then obviously we're like filming reunion and stuff and that whole TMZ thing. And so I just kind of been to myself. So now I'm going out and like, I'm getting stopped. I've gotten stopped in the gym every single day, just like this week. <laughs> and like, I'm in the sauna shirtless and I just had like a guy coming oh, up to me. No, in my space. No. <laughs> um, but it, I mean, it's cool. Everyone's been super sweet. And so, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a little bit weird. So people were just staring all the time. You got to wear a wig from this point on. Wear a wig. It's going to be, it'll, it'll help everything. Um, Izzy Zapata, Love is Blind, season five. Wait, do you still have the lost and found drawer? Do you still have the drawer of all the collectibles? No, that's gone. I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> Uh, well, man, I loved watching you. I was really bummed out, but I'm so happy that you are okay. I was so happy to see you at the reunion. You seem like you have such a good head on your shoulders, and I can't wait to see what you got uh, going next. But, folks, catch up if you haven't. Love is Blind Season 5, it is a mess in the best way possible. Uh, unfortunately, we watch his heartache, uh, but it is so in, just so viewable. So, Izzy Zapata, I hope to get to talk to you again one day, but thank you so no, much for being here, man. Thank you for having me.